As a corporate trainer, I work with lots of leaders who are overwhelmed with work. They never seem to have enough time and they always seem to have too much on their plate. But interestingly enough, when I ask them if they could delegate certain tasks, I usually get a litany of excuses. Like, ah, oh, if I give it to her, I won't be able to sleep at night. Oh, it, you know, it's easier if I just do it myself. It'll take me longer to explain it than it will to just do it. I couldn't delegate that. I've always attended these meetings myself. They probably want me there. I hate to admit it, but I've been one of those leaders as well. A few years back, I had a light bulb moment that showed me the dangers of not delegating and the negative impact it can have, not just on the leader, but the entire team. This was my light bulb moment experience. I was driving home on a particularly hot and humid day. Traffic was horrible. And on the commute home, I started thinking about how this abrupt change in seasons meant that I'd now need to somehow carve out time in my schedule to shop for new clothes for my two kids, Ariana and Austin. But I'd also need to make time to clean out their closets, to pack up bags of clothes, to donate to charity, to return the clothes they refused to wear throughout the year that still had tags on them, yada, yada, yada. It felt overwhelming. When I got home, I started venting to my poor husband while unloading the dishwasher. As he sat there listening to me complain about everything on my plate, all of a sudden, he interjected with a comment that shocked and terrified me at the same time. Out of nowhere, he said, Well, I can just start buying the kids clothes from now on. My brain went, Urk! Now, let me explain. I love my husband dearly, but he is one of the cheapest people on the planet with the fashion sense of, well, let's just say he has many other gifts. <laughs> These visions of my kids in completely crazy, ill-fitting outfits started racing through my head. And before I could think about what I was saying, I just blurted out seven of the most dangerous words you can say to someone you love. I don't trust you to do that. Immediately, I could see his face drop and I could feel his disappointment. The reality is that he was just trying to help and my blatant rejection only made the situation worse. Similarly, as leaders in the workplace, when we hog the work and we don't embrace or seek out opportunities for others to take things off our plate, everyone loses. We lose the opportunity to gain back some precious time. They are robbed of the opportunity to enhance and broaden their skills. And the rest of the team senses that their leader is distrustful of them. Communicating distrust is the last thing a leader would want to do. So why do we do it? In a word, fear. There's fear that they'll fail. Fear that they'll make us look bad fear that they won't complete the task like we would. And of course, our way is the right way. The solution lies in exploring these fears and learning tips for delegating the right way. For tips on delegation and other leadership issues, consider one of our leadership courses. We'll cover topics like delegation best practices, understanding three key leadership styles and learning secrets of the thoroughbred leader, using three magic questions to clarify task assignment, adopting communication best practices to avoid misunderstandings and team dysfunction, managing the multi-generational team, using team charters and ground rules to help get your team on the same page, applying project management principles that every leader should have, and providing leadership during times of change. Most importantly, it won't be another one of those dreadfully boring presentations or training sessions where you'd rather watch paint dry. Whether you're interested in a presentation for a conference or lunch and learn, or a half or full day training workshop, the session will be highly interactive and packed with practical tips that participants can begin using immediately. Contact us today at info at professionalismmatters.com 
or 678-777-7188.